Alright YouTube, I got a really cool video for you guys. Um, I'm going to show you guys how you can communicate through Facebook using Tor and Encryption and Pigeon. Um, and nobody can see what you're doing. Um, Alright YouTube, I got a really cool video for you guys. Um, I'm going to show you guys how you can communicate through Facebook using Tor and Encryption and Pigeon. Um, and nobody can see what you're doing. Um, I'll show you what, real quick what it looks like. Um, your Facebook messages end up looking like this to anyone, any government agencies or whatever that are reading over your, or hackers or whatever that are reading over your, your messages. So, there are some things I've learned during this on how this works. Um, right now I'm chatting with a guy named Raz Steven, but his Facebook thing is showing up as that. Um, this is the encrypted conversation as it looks to me and him. And on Facebook, this is how it looks to everybody else. Um, so, I'm going to show you how to get started with this. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to the Tor website. And uh, let's go ahead and just bring that up here. The Tor project. Let's see if I can use my DuckDuckGo. Come on, DuckDuckGo. Okay, Tor, T-O-R, did I spell it? Yeah, okay. Tor project, and we're going to get that to come up. And you want to do this in Linux, because it's just easier, but you can also do it in Windows. Um, so you go to the Tor official site. Hopefully this is the right one. I think it's, maybe it's not, I don't know. Tor onto, no, it's not right. Tor... Tor um, client proxy. Yeah, let's get that going. Tor client proxy thing. Come on, search for it. Or do I need to do it in Google? I don't know. It's being berserk. I would go ahead and search for it in Google. Oh, and never mind. There it goes. Anonymity online torproject.org. Okay, so that comes up as the first step you want to do. Okay, so you go here and you go to download. Just right there. Just turned it orange. Okay, you go down here, you get it for Linux, you can get it for 32 bit or 64 bit, you can get it for Windows, you can get it for everything. Tor browser bundle, that's what you want because it's easy. Okay, once you get it, you download it, you put it into a folder and you extract it. You right click on the executable, which in this case, let's see if I can just go ahead and open it for you. Downloads. I've got my um, web or my email client going through this too. I might show you how to do that. But anyway, so let's see if I can find Tor, 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 Tor. There it is. I don't want to show you guys too much information, but come on, open up Tor. There we go. Okay, so you see something called Start Tor Browser. You right-click on that. You go to Properties. You make sure that it is executable. Um, allow executing files program. There you go. Then you can right click on this and copy it, and then you can create yourself a nice little launcher. I did, mine's called Secret Sauce. I double click on that, it opens up, it opens this thing up. When it turns green, you're ready to go. It should open up a um, some sort of a browser, and just look at the settings of the browser and see how it's configured. Um, let's see, who's chatting with me? Someone is. Oh, it's my wife. Anyways, um, or is it Raz? Yeah, it's Raz. We'll send him some coffee. There. Okay. Anyway, um, doing video now. Let's see. Doing vid now. Ah. There we go. Doing vid now. Anyways, so um, going back over what were we doing? Oh yes. So you download your tour thing. You get it started. You get your proxy settings and the port, and you get that from the actual browser. If you go in here, you get a different port. You don't want that. You can click New Identity anytime you're worried about someone following you online or whatever. Okay, and basically what the Tor does, it doesn't encrypt anything. It just bounces you around the continent and the world until you're somewhere else. And so, um, basically what you're going to want is, I'll tell you because I'm going to go to Plugins. 
Okay, where is my encryption plugin? Pigeon encryption, there it is. It's called Pigeon Dash Encryption uh, 3.1. I guess I thought I had 3.0. Anyways, you go in there, you configure it. Um, I would configure it like this. And then um, basically what that's going to do is um, it gives you RSA encryption. And then once you have that installed properly, you get this through Synaptic Package Manager, Pigeon Dash Encryption, or you can look it up online. Um, once you get that in there, and again, that's Tools, Plugins, um, you go over to your conversation, and you will see if you've restarted Pigeon, everything's working. Um, you're going to see your uh, connection information up here for the lock. Um, now, one thing you want to do on your account is you want to go to Accounts, Manage Accounts, and go to your Facebook one, go Modify. Make sure that you have a local alias that's correct, because if you don't, well then you just get one of these gibberish things, and then you'll disconnect from your friend in the middle of your conversation. You don't want that. Um, let's see, what else is there that you need to know? Oh yeah, um, when you create an account, you want the link that comes after your, when you go to your, your, uh, your account on Facebook, you'll see something after the um, account, like, so, let's see. I'm going to go to my Facebook account and show you what I mean so you know what you're looking for. So I'm clicking on my Facebook page and it's loading and now you see right there Justin Brighthop, facebook.com forward slash Justin Brighthop. So that is why I put that in here. Okay, that's how it goes, justin.brighthop. Okay, so I'm going to close that, close that. Alright, so now I got this conversation. Oh, he's watching TV and S W E E T. Sweet. And uh, it says now he's known as Raz Steven, so he fixed his alias. Excellent. That's awesome. Okay. And I think, yes, all right. Because that works so much better once you fixed the alias. And now nobody's gibberish anymore. Somehow everybody has a name now. Okay. So once you get this going, um, you get all restarted. You click this thing, you enable your encryption, you start talking to your buddies. See, I can disable. And then your conversations to the whole world will look like this. It's pretty awesome. Um, the only thing is you can't back up and go look through your Facebook stuff. You have to look through Pigeon and the logs or whatever. So, um, But it's pretty cool, I think. So these are my instructions for this. And then I put some more instructions here. This is a post on the Linux forum. Um, anyway, so I thought that was pretty cool. Now that we've got all that going, I'm going to go ahead and show you because you guys probably want to see it. I'm using Thunderbird for my email, right? And so Thunderbird is loading up. And, uh, yeah, a bunch of spam and fun stuff going on here. But if I go to Tools, Edit, Account Settings. Actually, that's not where it is, is it? Let me check and see real quick. I don't think the proxy information is in here. I'm trying to see where it is, so i got to remember cancel ah that's right you go to edit and you go to preferences okay same thing you do to find your information in the browser the Tor browser um, you go advanced network disk space you go settings in my case my port is 9150 I can change it anytime I want to it's on Sox version 5 um, you can change it to 4 or whatever you want to do and hit OK and close that and it will give you some errors um, in your deal here. You get a message log saying that your programs are trying to use uh, uh, SOC 4A or SOC 5, which it is using, but it says like that it gives out a DNS thing or something and that can be a potential uh, problem with your privacy because then people can find out where your email is coming from and all that fun stuff. So anyway, this is it. This is how you do it. This is how you communicate through Facebook using Tor and encryption so that um, nobody is going to uh, be able to read what you're doing um, online. Uh, basically your messages are going to be secure. You can type anything you want. You don't have to worry about government or prism or anybody seeing it. Um, the encryption between you and your friend keeps refreshing itself and it is unique to um, what you're doing. So let me ask uh, Raz here if he has anything he'd like to tell you guys on YouTube about this. I just ask him really quick. Raz, is there anything you would like to tell anyone online about 
uh, doing this with Tor Pigeon. Um, let's see what else. And uh, the encryption. Here we go. We're asking Raz, would you like to tell anyone online about doing this with Tor Pigeon encryption thing? She came up with this name. Should be called TPE or something. Tor Pigeon Encryption. Anonymity. Oh, come on, Raz, say something before the 10 minutes are up on the video. Anyways, remember like, comment, share, and subscribe. The only thing I can tell you, Tor has had to, uh, Raz has had to say about this is that, well, it takes a few tries to log into Facebook Tor. Uh, using Tor, I use it. The risk is keep the browser on as long as you can. Each time you close the browser, you need to do all what you did over again. But this one seems complicated. Yes, that is using the browser. That's why we don't use the browser. You use Pigeon instead, because if you try to use Tor to access Facebook through the browser, it doesn't really work, and it will lock down your account and tell you that you're a bad, bad person. So we don't do that. But we do like, comment, share, and subscribe. So. Uh, what you're going to want to do with this video is share it with as many of your Facebook friends as you can. Get them to do the same thing, whether it be through Windows, Mac, or Linux. And this way we can all start communicating without the government's knowledge. And then pretty soon the government will figure out how to crack the encryption. But until then, we will keep talking. Uh, what the heck? I use Tor Browser. Oh. Okay. Okay. And what is he going to say about that? Just testing things. Oh. Cool. Alright. Well, anyways, I'm going to get off here and upload a video.